there it is you can see it slopping around and we're having a few goes at trying to fix it i'm going to show you a few things and hopefully we'll work out one that works hey everybody it's anthony at 4 before diesel at the prada hospital that is now closed but however we're doing a bit of work on our own vehicles we've got a 2013 150 prado that needs to be brought up to scratch it's been used it's been used by channel 9 for probably 200,000 k's and then it's been used for a further 120,000 k's and now it's ours to it's really taking a lot of work to bring it up to scratch um, when a vehicle's done a lot of k's like that and you haven't been on top of it chasing what to do next um, it can sort of get away a little bit now one of the problems see this door it's shut but see how it moves in and out you might if you've been watching videos you might have seen this before in videos and to be honest we haven't really got to the bottom of it and that's the problem when you don't know the history of the vehicle did it back into something with and the spare tire hit and bent the door did it, it look you know i could be just doing guessing games all day but fact of the matter is you can see that like you know you can see that bit of uh hear that you can see it's just it's rubbish now let's get inside and have a look at the adjustment fact of the matter is there isn't any adjustment so on other vehicles i've worked on over years um you open up these torques bit a little bit and there's been adjustment in and out and up and down on these there's no adjustment or i don't know what i'm doing and i'm not a prado specialist okay so we did go we saw this on oz prado crew and went oh okay and you know what don't go buy one i'm sure a lot of people have but don't go buy one yet because we don't know if it's going to work or not because I just really don't know if this is what I thought I was going to, because I want something to replace that to hold it in further, not that as the guide, because this won't pull it any further. I thought I was replacing that. So we've possibly got a bit of a problem, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, pretty much buying one of these is a complete waste of time, in my opinion, because I didn't realize that was a solid piece and that was to replace this piece here which literally I've only just worked out while looking at this is all happening live. I actually want one of these that's adjustable, something with these slots in it where I can adjust that striker in to bring it in. Because you can see that bit of wear and tear there. That's going to be part of it. You can see it's been turned around before. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to get a new one of these. But that half a millimetre or whatever wear there isn't going to cover the amount of movement we've got going on in this Come door over right? this side there's no adjustment here either as far as anything goes there might be some wear and tear in the hinges that's why you can get these plates here from kaon that have been installed there's either one or two in there already um, and that will lift the door up a little bit um, if there's a little bit of wear somebody will say oh you can change the bushes and you can you can do whatever you want you can keep changing bushes again and again and again if you like but you can put those spaces in there and it just lifts up the door and it lines it up beautifully. And that's not really the problem here. Now, the, the problem here isn't the door moving up or down to the height of the door. The problem is how far the door's held in, if you know what I mean. So, butter bing, butter boom, kaon.com.au. I'm going to have to contact them and say, mate, can you please make one of these latches? Just copy this. I'm hoping that we can get a little bit of wiggle movement by slotting this. Or we might have to engineer this one ourselves. Who knows what's going to happen here? But I'm going to put this thing on. That's bloody expensive and it's not going to fix anything really. But we're going to have a go. We'll put it on and see what happens. So I've just loosely fitted that into place. You can see it's, it's really good how it's adjustable. It doesn't go up and down much. But it goes in and out. So that's good. But we actually need one of those for up here. That's what that's what I thought I was getting. I didn't realise it was that piece, you know. Look more closely, I thought that was hollowed out and you know what I mean? I just thought it was an adjustable one of these. Oh, so disappointing. But anyway, I'm gonna adjust this one up. I'll just get the camera out of the way and we'll just see if it makes any difference to the door. Look, just with a quick basic adjustment, you know what? It has improved, but I think it's because it's holding the door out. Have a look how it closes. So is it different to before? Right, and so it's sitting out a little bit. Let's see, compared to the other side. It's gonna have a, okay, right. It's comparing side to side. This side is out more than this side, but of course you get that, especially if the, you know, I don't know what's, you know, I don't know the history if it's been, these doors obviously tired, it'll be great if they had a bit more uh, adjustment on them, but don't worry about the noise because the number plate's flattened around as well because one of the screws is cross-threaded, so I've got to pull the whole back of the door off to get to that. Another job. 
But you know what? I could bring it out even more to hold it even tighter and I might just do that. Okay, credit where credit's due. Here we go, right? So I've opened, I've uh, just moved out a little bit more. There's the door closing. You tell me in the comments, does it look like it closes better? Uh, so it's, okay. It's not too bad on the how far it's sticking out. It's not too bad. The glass at the window above the taillight feels even. The door, it feels good there. It feels in a bit of that side, but that might be how they are. Let me go check another one. Hang on one sec. Different, same, same, different, same. Yes, yeah, so on the newer car, this side's in a bit more, but it's a different bar and whatever, so it's a bit hard to tell. Okay, so the test before though, I was pushing here and pulling on this handle just here to go. I think there's less movement. So what we're gonna do next is, because we haven't got a lot of options, unless Kayon can make another one of these, like that one adjust because this is where we want to be sorry i'm going to look a bit unco because the camera and the tripods are right in the way of where i want to be i'm going to get this off i'm going to give it a clean up keep all your original screws but whatever you do if you put these aftermarket things on because i've got to tell you sometimes things like this they just don't work out okay and you might want to return it quite often people are oops i did it again and you know Made that mistake, yep. You can see it's been used, mate, you know. Right, there's plenty of evidence there the vehicle's been used, and it has been used. I'll tell you that right now, and if the vehicle's used, it's gonna need a lot more maintenance than a standard vehicle, okay? So just keep that in mind. I'm just giving a quick clean up here. Nothing to see here. To do an inspection to decide I'm going to show you in the wear and tear on this striker, which you shouldn't have to replace it, in my opinion. It's just an opinion. You shouldn't have to replace it, but there should be adjustment in it. Dumb idea. Really dumb having a, a no adjustment striker plate. Okay, so here it is, Azen. Right, so there's no slot in the holes, there's nothing. They're fixed, they don't move. Some cars that's the part that moves you know so you get a bit of wiggle room um see here okay so uh, i need to have a look at it yeah okay what i'm looking at here i'm going to say there's a lot more wear on this side than there is that side so we're going to spin you can see it's been rubbing top and bottom that's the movement so that that thing down there all those k on shims in the door I prefer the k on shims really because that this is lifting the door up. It's still going to cop a lot of impact wear and tear. You want to fix it at the hinge if you can with those shims is ideal. And this could maybe back it up. So Kayon probably needs to come up with a kit. Door shims, door adjuster and door latch. All three together would be the proper package. That's my recommendation. So I'll send this video to Kayon. Thanks Tin. if you can uh, get onto that. Something else I'm waiting for, like those heavy duty side steps. Don't tell anybody about it though, alright? Um, <laughs> sorry about that. We've just got to get it happening that'd be awesome all right so i could paint that but that's the wear and tear side so i'm going to put the good side outside here and let's see what happens i think that'll just improve it a little bit more and then i'll hear from kaon hopefully and they'll say yeah great idea let's make it a package we've done the shims it's not that hard to make one of these at all um, with their skills it's a piece of cake for them and uh and he, and he should probably be saying, you know, it's not going to be that hard to make one of these. So we'll make it a package between all the pieces, you know. You'll have a really awesome rear door because, you know what, Toyotas are awesome. But the rear door is probably one of the biggest things that people have a bit of trouble with. A bit annoying, rattling around. But, you know, a lot of people have these problems with doors and things, you know. So let's uh, get in position to shut this door, eh? See what happens. So, hasn't really changing that around, hasn't really made any difference. Um, what I'm going to do now, one more thing, because we can, is bring this adjustment out just a smidgen more. And just remember, this is aftermarket screws, you know, where they'll be made. 
and the aftermarket piece that came with it. So let's be really careful using it because the quality won't be the best. Let's just say that's why I'd just rather get my gun and go because I've got the quality in there. Just give it up for now. And I'll bring it around in a minute and show you how far out on the adjustment it is, but let me just have a look and see. Uh, so now it won't close, right? So now it's that far out, it won't close. So we get to learn stuff here, right? Are we learning people? All right, let's get in a bit closer and have a look what's going on. All right, so I've just done a final adjustment. This is where I'm leaving it. Just wanted to show you where the adjustment is if you do get one of these crappy things, but I'd wait for the K on if I was you. Um, it's pretty much, you can just see the end of the hole there. It doesn't mean it's gonna be the same for yours, but keep it even is what I've worked out. Um, get your spaces in from K on at the bottom door hinge first. Add one of these and then we'll be just waiting on someone that's got one of these. Does anyone know, is there a seller that's got these that are adjustable like this one? I'll show you how it worked out. Come up pretty good considering. The test will obviously be driving the vehicle, but I'll just shut the door for you. Right, now does that look any different? It's a bit harder to shut. So if I let it go soft, because I've got it right on the edge of adjustment. If you go soft, it's not, but because I've got this out, if you know what I mean, so that it's got pressure to hold it shut. So as long as I give it, a, put my hand on it, I'm not pushing it real hard, but look, just to show you, right? Shut all the way. Now look, I can make it move, but there's less movement. I've got to push harder to make it move. So I believe this is going to be a improvement from a really, really rattly rear door. That being said, I'm looking at the top of the door still, and it looks like it needs more pressure to put it in. Back door design. Maybe not the best, maybe the door's bent because when I push the top back corner at the driver's side, it doesn't go in much. So there's a stopper up there, might need replacing. Um, driver's side, doesn't move. Of course, that's the hinge side, you know, this side. And of course, then you've got the other problem, the uh, spoilers quite loose and rattly as well. So we'll have to have another video soon on how to get that off once we work it out because there's no videos on YouTube. I had a search trying to figure out, I thought that would be a quick thing to do the other night, but didn't work out. So we'll work it out for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's my mucking around for the last 20 minutes. And hopefully you learned something out of it and you can make yours better. Thanks for watching. See ya. And you know, it's a problem when the door's shut. So that little red light there, that's the rear door lights on. I'm gonna push on the door like that, it goes off. Release it. See the red dot right in the middle of the picture? Push on it. Release it. Unbelievable. In conclusion, if you've got a problem with your rear door and you use one of these to really push the door out to make it tight, you could end up with this switch not getting pressed quite enough to get your interior light on. That's what we've got. And that's why we need this part adjustable so that it can go in a few millimetres to solve that problem, to get the pressure on the seal, to stop the door you know, wobbling around all over the place. This would be handy as well, but it's not really the problem because once this is adjustable, it'll bring the standard door latch rest striker plate rest plate, whatever you want to call this thing and the other end on the door together nicely once this can come in. So this is a fail on Toyota's part, not having this adjustable. This the back door, I don't know whether these ones are adjustable, probably not, but in my opinion, it's a fail because it needs to be adjustable so you can line up your door absolutely perfectly. Like I said on vehicles I've worked on before, they were adjustable. When people got it wrong, you'd see little rub marks like that there, and you just make a little adjustment to get it right so the door aligns right, so it closes, everything's Mickey Mouse. But you know, apparently they're not adjustable these days.